So Dawn mentioned uh, Brian Hassett, and he's a mutual friend of many of us. We got to know him through John. John has known Brian for 30 years probably. And he, uh, he visited Al on more than one occasion, took some great film, got a lot of these stories down on tape. And he lives in Quebec, and uh, so obviously he can't be here today. But he did send this poem along and asked if I'd read it, and I was happy to do so. It's called Al Hinkle, Hero of the Humble. Gracious giant, gentle giant, a literary giant's character for eternity. Still alive in every copy of On the Road, in every country, in the world. The lovable, affable, portable, Big Ed Dunkel. The everyman, in the car man. Not a Cassidy, not a Kerouac, but a you and a me. Everyone who wasn't a hero could be in that car in the person of Al, blocking the wind, running for smokes, driving through nights playing with folks, and planting the flag in the Southern Pacific Railroad Earth that beckoned the charmers, the dreamers, conductors of generations of players in the symphonies of cultures that filled the halls and spiked the balls and wooed the dolls with an easy laugh and a generous hand. Al was a man who had a plan to hit the road and not be told what to do, because he already knew it's up to you to catch your magnificent friends on the flying trapeze. Al always practiced this. He taught this, caught this, shared this. A hero of the humble, an explorer of the quiet, a romantic of the road, a swashbuckler of the rails, a watchman with cocktails, a map man with muggles, a Helen man with snuggles, a mighty man who juggles, 90 years of adventures in one magic trick of life. We should all be so lucky as everyone who knew him was. Thank you.